what if I told you that the fifth best player in the 2019 recruiting class for football has not played a single college football game yet and has already gone to two different schools and now is not at a school currently. This is what happened to Antonio Alfano. Going into Antonio Alfano's senior year at Colonia High School in Colonia, New Jersey, he was the fifth best player in the nation, number one in his position, and number one in New Jersey. But by the end of the season, he was ranked as the best player in the nation. And according to 247 Sports, he had a perfect rating of 100. Antonio Alfano apparently had 25 offers coming out of high school, and he decided to commit to Alabama. But let's talk about some of the offers he had, because he had some really good schools there. He had Arizona State, Florida, Georgia, LSU, Ohio State, Oregon, Penn State, USC, Wisconsin, just to name a few. And like I said earlier, he would decide to commit to Alabama. Everything was going great for Antonio. He had an amazing senior season that made him the number one player in the nation, and he was about to go play for Alabama, a powerhouse. Who doesn't want to play for a powerhouse like Alabama? Unless you just hate Alabama. But let's talk about his stats his senior year that helped him become the number one player in the nation. Now, he only played nine games his senior season, but he beasted out in those nine games. He had 47 solo tackles, 76 total tackles. He averaged about eight tackles a game. He had 10 sacks on the season. He caused six fumbles, and he even recovered one fumble as well. And I feel like I should mention this as well, but he had 28 tackles for losses. That is insane. Even though everything at Alabama was looking good for Alfano, it would quickly come down really hard and fast, like a roller coaster. Alfano was absent from classes and practices in September for unspecified reasons, but his dad tweeted, that his absence may have stemmed from his grandmother being ill at health at the time. But Alfano entered the transfer portal on September 13th, 2019, and would eventually transfer to Colorado on November 4th, 2019. But Alfano was missing, and he transferred early from Alabama for really undisclosed reasons. And everyone was really confused because he transferred at literally at the beginning of the season. But here's what Coach Saban had to say about that. He said, I just know the guy basically quit. He quit going to class. He quit coming here. Until he responds, you just have to assume the guy quit. So basically, in Alabama's eyes, he just quit. No one really knows the real reason why he left. Like I said earlier, Antonio would transfer to Colorado, and this was an amazing grab for Colorado. They got a former five-star recruit, former number one player in the nation. It just looked like that this was going to help their defense a lot. But just a few days ago, May 29th to be exact, Colorado defensive lineman Antonio Alfano, former five-star Alabama prospect, no longer with the Buffaloes program. Now, let's talk about some events that possibly led to this. Now, Mel Tucker, who possibly brought him in, who was a former Alabama coach, but then at the time he committed there, then head coach of Colorado, before he left, said that he was committed to Colorado. And it seemed all good for Alfano. He was with a team that really wanted him, but, well, Mel Tucker left, and... Carl Durrell became the man in charge, and Alfano was indefinitely suspended by Durrell in March for a violation of team rules. Now, they didn't say what the team rules were for reasons, and we probably will not know that either. Now, what exactly is even happening to Antonio? I mean, this is a guy that has a lot of promise. Like, is he just doing a bunch of stupid stuff behind the scenes? Is he still just skipping class? Now, let's go back to that tweet. And let's see what his parents had tweeted in September of 2019. 
They said their son requested to enter the transfer portal because his grandmother was on life support. He is very close with her. Since the illness took effect, Antonio has taken it very hard. He has not attended classes and practices. Now to me, it just seems like Antonio really loves his grandma and this has really taken a toll on him mentally and he just cannot do anything without thinking of her and making him very depressed and possibly just making him very unwilling to do anything like go to class, attend the practices, which might be the reason why he's been getting kicked off of teams, dismissed, entering the transfer portal, leaving Colorado's program, leaving Alabama. But what does the future hold for Antonio? To me, I know Antonio is not done with football. I think Antonio will be back playing football very soon. Will it be with D1 this season? Probably not. I think he's going to end up at a Juco, kind of like a Last Chance U situation. Will he be on Last Chance U? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Only time will tell. But what I really see is that his mental mind, his mental state is just not very good right now. And that could be because of his grandmother's condition that he really loves very much. And, you know, that sucks. And, you know, you can't do anything about it. It's just life. But I know how that can feel sometimes. Everyone can. But is his career over? I don't think so. This is the end of the video, guys. This is what happened to Antonio Alfano. B. Kelly out. Remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos.